today we are going to be opening the door in this barn which has an extremely rare car inside which has been in here for a very very long time i cannot wait to show you guys what's behind this door now i think this is the one that's charged it's got some jump leads Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Now, today we are at a friend of mine's. Now, he has an absolutely incredible collection of classic and extremely rare cars. Now, today I'm going to be showing you one of the cars. I can tell you there's around about 100 here, maybe a little bit more, um, and it is going to blow you away. Now, we are going to be filming those cars over the period of the next few months or so. Um, we're going to be doing some restorations on them, some first washes. Some of these cars haven't been cleaned in a, a very long time. Now, today's car is quite special. It's been locked inside this barn for a number of years. Um, it's been imported from a different country. I can guarantee you, you haven't seen one on the road here in quite a long time. You know, it's a very, very special car. Uh, quite a powerful car as well. Um, so let's take a look. So the car in question is actually hidden inside this barn. Now... I've got permission from the owner to have a look. So what we're gonna to have to do is clear all these leaves away, um, get the door open, and the door hasn't been open for a long time. Um, I'm expecting the car to be quite dusty as well. Um, you can just about see it through there. Now this is a very, very rare car. Um, like I said to you before, it's been imported from Japan. Um, it's twin turbo, flat four. Um, any guesses yet? Nope, you're all wrong. <laughs> Right, let's get this door open. What we need to do is clear this stuff out of the way. Now, normally there is actually a car part here, but um, the car went, oh, it got moved the other day. You can see the leaves have uh, fallen down on this stuff as well. I'll just move this. Okay, now, all the locks have been undone, so I'm hoping, oh, ah, there we go. Right, are you guys ready? And there it is. So this is a Subaru Legacy Blitzen. Now Porsche actually had something to do with the development and design of this car. Um, this is a very, very rare car. See, it's got a very unusual spoiler on the back there. Probably like Marmite, either you love it or you hate it, but I really like it. Now I've got the keys for this in my pocket. Let me get the door open. the light on so you guys can see now this is quite a low mileage car this one see the turbo boost gauge there on the steering column and um, you can see it's in really really good condition there's a little bit of uh, mud and leaves on the floor just because of what's outside but this car is probably well, it's probably one of the best examples you're going to find um, so extremely low mileage you know, there's no rust or anything on like it at all it's a uh, exceptional condition Apart from a bit dusty, <laughs> or it's been in here for so long. I'll show you the engine. Look at that. Box 
boxer two stage twin turbo now this engine actually had i think it was around 300 horsepower from the factory which is quite a decent output to be honest um i mean subaru is a highly tunable anyway you know this engine with the twin turbos um i don't know what you could pump it up to now what we're going to try and do let's put the bonnet stand up is we're going to hook a battery up and see if we can get this car started now it hasn't been started for a long time but it should be all right the fuel in there should still be okay um so yeah keep my fingers crossed for that hopefully we can get it started i'm just gonna have a little walk around while we're here and show you guys the wheels see the brakes are a little bit rusty and the tires obviously it hasn't moved for a long time but the bodywork is in exceptional condition you know you got this car outside gave it a wash and polish it would come up really really well but you can see where it's been in here for quite a long time <laughs> now it's quite a, a tight building this it was actually used as a spray booth um so there's no like open windows or anything you know there's no air movement in here really it's um quite a good place to keep a car let's just have a little look in the back Joe, that's quite funny i've actually had quite a few subarus in the past and that sounded exactly like an Impreza when I opened that then. It's funny how similar they are. Look at that. Still got the original toolkit there. Got the spare wheels probably under there too. Yep. Doesn't even look like that's been used. Look at this. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna hopefully get a battery hooked up and fingers crossed, we should be able to hear this fire up in a minute. Okay, so I've got a light now. I'm just gonna hook this hopefully up here somewhere. I'm gonna turn the light on so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so we've got a couple of batteries on the floor just here. Now I think this is the one that's charged so what we're going to try and do because the battery won't actually fit here because it's too big we're going to run some jump leads from those down onto the terminals and hopefully that should give us enough to turn the engine over and get it running okay so got some jump leads let's connect these up So we want to put that one on there. And this one onto that. If we do it that way around, that should be okay. And then we've got this one here. Do, 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 do. And then last one to that. Oh, we've got sparks, which is a good sign. Right, I've got got some faith now hopefully this should work okay guys right we're all connected up I've got the key let's uh, give it a go and we've got an interior light on which is a good sign so far so good right moment of truth <laughs> Wow. To be fair, I can't believe how easy that went. Oh, just listen to it. It sounds absolutely beautiful. Wow. Well, there you go. There's your Japanese reliability. Look at that. No warning signs on the dashboard. Stereos come on. Interior lights still on, obviously because the door's open still. Wow. That sounds absolutely amazing. I cannot believe it. lights are on look at those hid lights <laughs> wow 
This is so cool. I can't believe how quiet it sounds. It's just absolutely perfect. There's no nasty engine noises. It's just burbling away. Absolutely beautiful. So while the car is uh, warming up, I'm just gonna jump in the driver's seat and just show you guys a couple of things. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's actually got buttons on the steering wheel here for changing gear. Now this car apparently was one of the first to have the Tiptronic paddles on the steering wheel. It's got the old double din CD player here, Sony CD player. Just down here, we've got some nice STI pedals, <laughs> standard. Now, obviously, this car is 21 years old now. And you think 21 years ago, you know, seeing things like the paddles on the steering wheel and stuff like that, you know, it, it's certainly ahead of its game, it really is. See the boost gauge lit up here. It sounds so nice, this car. Wah. Okay, just turn the engine off. I'm gonna disconnect the leads now. Put the battery back where it was. I think you guys will agree with me that um, <laughs> you can't beat Japanese reliability. That engine sounded as, as good as you just come out of the showroom. You know, there was no nasty knocking, tapping. There was no nasty smoke. The smoke that you did see coming out the back was obviously just steam where there's some condensation in the exhaust system. But I just mean, you know, what an amazing car. I'm pretty sure back in the day, this was, this was actually one of the fastest um, saloon cars. I think it was 168 miles an hour. Right, I'm just gonna take the light down. It's actually a really good light though. I bought that from Homebase um, a couple of years ago now. It's really, really good. Nice little bit of kit there. Right, time to shut everything back down again. What a beautiful car. Absolutely beautiful car, that. Now, guys, if you think this car's good, all I can say is wait till you see the others. Now, what we're gonna be doing is filming, we're not gonna be doing one by one, but we are gonna be doing like them in stages. So we're gonna start with the bottom ones first, which is this, believe it or not, and we're gonna work our way up. So the cars are gradually gonna get better and better and better. This is an amazing car, but guys, wait till you see the rest. I promise you, you are not going to be disappointed. Okay, guys, well, it's time to shut the door on the Blitzen Legacy. I tuck her away for the winter. She's nice and warm. Now, like I said to you before, we've got over 100 cars here. Now, I'm not going to spoil it all and just do it in one video because it would be a waste. You know, the cars we've got here are so special and so rare. I can promise you, some of these cars here you've probably never even seen, probably didn't even know they existed. They are that rare. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. Don't forget to check out the website where you can buy your merchandise from. We've got some hoodies and some t-shirts in there at the moment. We are going to be putting more stuff on there. Um, we've got so many cars here. I just cannot wait to show you what's here. See you on the next Explore scene, guys.